What is good, my peoples? This is Kobe2408. We are going to take an early look at patch 8.4, but before I get into this video, make sure you follow me on twitch.tv slash Kobe Sandu. Link in the description below. I'm only streaming on Twitch, and I'll be streaming every day, so make sure you follow me on twitch.tv slash Kobe Sandu. So first up, we have two new skins that are coming out in this patch, Dragon Master Swain, as well as Darkstar Jarvan. They're both 1350 RP. Also, voice chat has been added to the PBE. However, it may not come out until patch 8.6. However, there are new runes that are coming out called Bone Plating and Time Warp Tonic. Also, there are new AP items that will be coming out as well. However, I won't go in depth in this video about those items, the ruins, as well as the skins. You can check out all those in the link in the description below. But let's get right into the champion balance changes. So first up, we have Evelyn. Now, Evelyn is receiving a minor buff on her E whiplash ability. The damage is being increased at 10 at all ranks. Now, she is sitting at a pretty good state right now. She does a lot of damage. And she's very hard to deal with, especially when she's level 6. Next, we have Nar. Now, I thought Nar would receive some nerfs because of his dominance in professional play. However, he is receiving some buffs, especially to Mega Nar. First, we have his hop, his E. His damage is being increased. Then we have Mini Nar. His passive boomerang throw on catch cooldown has been reduced from 50, 55, 60% to 40% at all ranks. Then we have Meganar, the bonus AD ratio is being increased from 20% to 70%. Again, on Meganar, the AD is being increased from 70% to 100%. And then the AP ratio on Meganar is also being increased from 50% to 100%, which means that Meganar is going to be a lot harder to deal with. So next we have Orin. Now Orin is receiving some nerfs as well as some buffs. So first up we have Bellows Breath, which is his W. Cooldown is being increased, the shield duration is being increased, the brittle duration is being lowered from 6 seconds to 3 seconds, which is huge. I think that's what really needed to be nerfed, the brittle effect that he has. Uh, the damage is also being lowered. Next to his E, Searing Charge, the damage is being increased, the bonus armor ratio is being increased, the bonus magic resistance ratio is also being increased. The effect has changed on how Searing Charge applies its shockwave effect, and then the shockwave damage is being increased. So basically, they're just nerfing his W and increasing the damage of his charge. And then to his ultimate, the brittle duration is being lowered from 6 seconds to 3 seconds. Now, this is the patch where Rengar's Q rework is going to be coming out. It is now an active. Basically, what you need to know about Rengar's buffs is everything is reliant on his Q savagery. They basically nerfed his passive. They've nerfed his ultimate. Uh, however, they have buffed his W on the cooldown, but everything is reliant on his Q. He is an assassin champion. That's what he's good at. So just picking off the back lines and then running off. So he's what you call a high risk, high reward champion. Next, we have Talon. Now, Talon is struggling in the lane phase and outside the laning phase so he is receiving some buffs so his base magic resistance is being lowered his base armor is being increased his ultimate is being buffed quite a bit the bonus ad ratio is being increased from 80 percent to 85 percent and the damage is also being increased at 240 at max rank which is quite a bit that is a huge jump so he's going to be doing a lot of damage late game now volley bear has needed some buffs for a very long time he has been struggling for the last couple seasons and he's getting some well needed buffs so first up his Q rolling thunder basically the movement speed is being buffed then we have frenzy which is his W in addition to monsters actives cooldown is now reduced by 50% when he bites a minion and then we have a mini rework to his majestic roar which is his E ability uh, there's a new effect which knocks back enemies slightly also there's another new effect where airborne or dashing enemies now take an additional 40 60 80 100 120 plus 30 percent ap damage which is quite a bit so he is definitely going to make a comeback in ranked so zed is receiving a minor buff to his ultimate where the cooldown is being lowered from 120 180 to 120 90 60 so he's a little more relevant in the late game next we have fiddlesticks now fiddlesticks is receiving a buff which he's needed for a very long time his dark wind his e the cooldown is being lowered the additional damage to monsters is being increased from 50 percent to 100 percent so hopefully this allows him to clear the jungle waves a little bit easier also crow storm the cooldown is being lowered so we might see fiddlesticks come back especially in solo queue next we have Callista. now Callista is receiving some minor buffs however the major nerf is to her attack range which is going from 
555 to 525. It's just basically going to make her more vulnerable to taking damage or getting chain CC'd or getting blown up. So that's what's going on with her attack range. However, her Sentinel, it has been changed. It no longer gains attack speed. However, it gains attack damage. Also, Rend has been nerfed from 30 mana at all ranks to 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 mana refunded. And that way, she can't just sit in lane and just refund all her mana. Next, we have Darius. Now, Darius is receiving a buff on his W. The cooldown is being lowered. Also, his E, the armor pen, has been increased. Next, we have Gangplank. Now, Gangplank is receiving some significant nerfs just because of his dominance in solo queue as well as professional play. The Q cost is being increased. The W mana cost is being changed. His E, the keg duration, is being lowered from 60 seconds to 25 seconds, which is huge. For those that don't know, basically what most GPs will do is they will sit on a barrel in lane where if they get in trouble, they'll just run to the barrel, hit it, and then run off because it gets that movement speed. And now GPs will have to be a little more careful on how they use their barrels. Next, we have Renekton. Now, Renekton is receiving a buff on his Q. The damage is being increased as well as the enhanced damage. It is also being increased. So hopefully this makes Renekton a little bit stronger within the laning phase next we have shivana now shivana has been so dominant in solo queue so she is receiving some nerfs her ad per level is being lowered also her q the second hit bonus damage is being lowered i think that is what makes her so dominant especially the second hit with her q it just does so much damage it's very unexpected too especially when people take press the attack with her next we have twitch now twitch is receiving a nerf to his e the base damage is being lowered so this will definitely knock twitch down from the top spot of ADCs. Next we have Xin Zhao. Now Xin Zhao is receiving a minor nerf to his W. The duration extent of other abilities is being lowered so this will knock down his dominance just a tad within the jungle but he is still extremely strong. And finally we have Zoe. Now Zoe is receiving some major nerfs. Her paddle star Q no longer applies more sparkles damage to enemies past the first hit so this is hurting her wave clear. Spell thief which is her W. Minions can no longer drop teleport so she can't just pick up teleport and teleport around the map and then go back to her lane sleepy trouble bubble her e uh, removed effect when an enemy champion falls asleep a sleepy trouble bubbles cooldown is reduced removing drowsy now prevents the affected target from asleep so this includes cleanse mikhail's qss uh, basically it just removes the sleep effect once you cleanse it or mikhail's or, or qss it so this just means if you cleanse mikhail's or qss the sleep effect it doesn't add the bonus q damage so i hope you guys enjoyed this early look at patch 8.4 once there's final notes i'll make another video about all the changes that are going to happen in this patch but as always make sure to subscribe like comment and share i'm kobe 248 thank you for watching and you guys stay awesome my friends and i'm out peace